Your GPU isn't delivering the performance it should. You're not alone. Many gamers experience low GPU usage. In this video, I'll walk you through expert level tweaks to fix low GPU usage, increase GPU utilization, and ensure smoother gameplay. Drop your graphics card model in the comments. I'd love to see which GPUs you guys are rocking. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to stay updated with the best gaming optimization tips. Let's jump right in. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download gear a booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Alright guys, the first thing we need to do is turn off power throttling on your PC to boost GPU performance. Start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard, which will bring up the run dialog box. In the text field, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. This will open the local group policy editor. Now, navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, system. Scroll down until you see the power management folder. Click on it and then locate the power throttling option. Open turn off power throttling, set it to enabled and apply the changes. This will help your CPU and GPU run at higher performance levels. Finally, click apply, hit OK, and exit the window. Now guys, to fix low GPU usage, you'll need to download the Ultimate Low GPU Usage Fix Pack. You can get it from the link in the description. You can verify it using any trusted virus detection tool or website. It's completely safe and free from any malware. Once the download is complete, extract the folder and open it. Start by accessing the GPU Tweaks folder. Inside, locate the clear.bat file. This script helps clean unnecessary temporary files and resets certain Windows settings. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator to execute. This process will remove junk files and enhance system efficiency. Next, find the Gaming Performance Registry file. Double-click it, press Yes, and then click OK to apply the changes. Now you'll see two different optimization files, low medium optimization and medium high optimization. Choose based on your system specs. Select low medium optimization if you have a budget or mid-range setup and medium high optimization for higher end PCs. If you're unsure, just drop a comment and I'll help you decide. For this guide, I'll pick low medium optimization to maximize performance. After choosing, confirm by clicking yes, then OK, and the registry tweak will be applied. Finally, open the GPU Thread Tweaks folder. Here you'll find specific registry files for different GPUs, including AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. Pick the file that matches your GPU brand. Since I have an Nvidia GPU, I'll apply the Nvidia Thread Optimization file. Double-click it, confirm by pressing yes twice, then hit OK, to finalize the settings. Now go back and you'll find MSI Afterburner in the folder. Install it. After installation, launch the program and you'll be greeted by the main interface, which provides real-time monitoring of your GPU's performance metrics. To ensure your GPU isn't held back by power or thermal limitations, start by adjusting the power limit and temperature limit sliders. Drag both to their maximum values. This allows your GPU to draw more power when needed and operate at higher temperatures within safe thresholds. Avoid modifying core voltage. Unnecessary voltage adjustments can introduce instability and power inefficiencies. Now, let's fine tune the memory clock, which plays a crucial role in data transfer speeds. Gradually increase it in small increments of 20. For example, if it's at zero, raise it to 20, then 40, and so on. After each adjustment, run a benchmark or a graphically demanding game to check for artifacts, crashes, or instability. If you notice any visual glitches, reduce the memory clock slightly to find a stable setting. Now let's talk about park control. This is similar to Windows Power Plan settings, but offers more options for optimizing power management. Simply install this application and run it. Once you have park control open, scroll through the list and choose the power profile you want. Select Bitsum Highest Performance for the best results. Now, check the following settings. Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. All of these should be disabled and set to 100% to ensure maximum CPU efficiency. Next, go to Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is enabled. 
This feature dynamically manages CPU threads by turning off unused ones during light tasks like web browsing, but fully activating all cores when gaming, ensuring optimal performance. In the power options, confirm that Bitsum highest performance is selected. This setting forces your CPU to operate at peak performance levels, leading to better FPS in games. Now, click on Change Plan Settings, set both options to Never, and then proceed to change Advanced Power Settings. Inside this menu, ensure that Bitsum Highest Performance is selected as your active power plan. Next, navigate to Hard Disk, find Turn Off Hard Disk After, and change the value to 0 minutes to prevent unnecessary drive sleep. Scroll further down to Intel Graphics Settings, expand the section, and set Intel Graphics Power Plan to maximum performance for better GPU efficiency. Now, move to Processor Power Management, expand the options, and adjust both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100% to keep your CPU running at full speed. Finally, click Apply, then OK, and close the window to save your changes. Finally, double-check that everything is configured at 100%, then click Make Active, hit Apply, and your new settings will take effect instantly. For further optimization, navigate to the MSI Mode Utility folder. Locate the application, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. When prompted by the User Account Control, UAC, click Yes to grant elevated permissions. This ensures the tool can make the necessary system-level adjustments. Once the utility launches, you'll see a list of hardware components. Find your GPU model in the list. It's typically labeled under the Display Adapters section. Now perform the following optimizations. Enable MSI Message Signaled Interrupts. Mode. This improves interrupt handling, reducing input lag, and enhancing overall system responsiveness. Set Interrupt Priority to High. This prioritizes GPU-related processes over lower priority system tasks, helping eliminate bottlenecks that might be restricting performance. Once you've made these adjustments, click Apply to save the changes. Restart your PC to ensure the optimizations take full effect. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, let's proceed to the next step, optimizing the Windows Registry. This adjustment boosts GPU priority specifically for gaming. Start by opening Windows Search, type Registry Editor, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. Next, copy the registry path provided in the video description, paste it into the address bar, and hit Enter. Once you're in the correct location, look for System Responsiveness, right-click on it, and select Modify. In the Value Data field, change the number to 0, ensuring that the base is set to hexadecimal. This tweak prioritizes GPU performance, helping your system allocate more resources to games. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, optimizing its settings can significantly improve gaming performance. To start, open the NVIDIA Control Panel by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting it from the menu. Once inside, go to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview section. Here, select Use the Advanced 3D Settings to allow NVIDIA's Control Panel to handle performance optimizations. Next, navigate to Manage 3D Settings in the left panel. This section contains crucial settings that affect how your GPU performs during gaming. Apply the following changes for the best results. Low Latency Mode, 
set this to Ultra to minimize input delay, which can be especially useful for competitive gaming. Power management mode, change this to prefer maximum performance to ensure your GPU always runs at its highest power level rather than dynamically adjusting based on workload. OpenGL rendering GPU. If you use your GPU for video editing, 3D rendering, or other intensive tasks, select your NVIDIA GPU from the drop-down menu to force all OpenGL applications to use dedicated graphics. Vertical Sync, set this to off to remove FPS limitations and reduce input lag. However, if you experience screen tearing, you may want to experiment with Adaptive Sync instead. Once you've made all these adjustments, click Apply to save the settings. After that, you can close the NVIDIA control panel and your GPU will now be optimized for better performance in gaming and other graphics intensive tasks. Now let's fine tune some extra Windows settings to further enhance GPU performance. These adjustments will help your games run more smoothly, delivering higher FPS and a more responsive gameplay experience. Start by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting display settings from the menu. Once inside, scroll down to related settings and click on graphics settings. This will bring up a new window with important performance related options. Look for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If your system supports it, turn it on. Enabling this feature allows Windows to manage GPU tasks more efficiently, reducing latency and improving performance in games and GPU heavy applications. With hardware acceleration activated, it's time to optimize settings for your specific games. In the graphics settings window, locate the option labeled Choose an app to set preference. Click the drop down, select desktop app, then click browse to add your game manually. For instance, if I want to optimize Fortnite, I'll navigate to its installation folder. This is usually found in Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Inside this directory, locate the game's .exe file, select it, and click add to include it in the list of optimized applications. You can repeat this process for other games like Valorant, Counter-Strike, or any other title you want to enhance. Once your game appears in the list, click options next to it. A small window will open, giving you multiple performance preferences. Select high performance, which ensures your game fully utilizes your dedicated GPU, rather than defaulting to lower power integrated graphics. After making this selection, click save to apply the changes. All right guys, that wraps up today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.